joined by defensive coordinator Don Brown. We'll start with questions for Coach Brown. How's everybody doing? Good, how are you? Beautiful night. Yeah. So um, it's hard for us to assess the, the big guys in the middle, yeah. the defensive tackles like uh, Trayvon Mason and Ian wow. Mars and those guys. What's, how, what have you seen out of that group so far? I think that group's performing pretty well. Uh, you know, you hit it on Trayvon. We got bars in there. I, I think those two guys right now are the leaders in the clubhouse. Um, we're kind of fooling around with a couple other guys. Ugo, uh, you know, he's 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 doing some stuff that I think is pretty good. But um, though you hit, you hit it. You got the right two guys. Those two guys are clearly our number ones. And uh, then we've got a, a battle going on. Uh, we didn't have JB tonight, which um, obviously there's no problem. I mean, it was just a got a little respiratory, so uh, he he was out tonight. But I think Parashan's come along on the outside uh, and really uh, you know doing some good things there. And he's a young guy now, so uh, we're kind of excited about his progress. You saw Harris tonight. You know, there's a guy, I, I tease him all the time because I go, how many sacks you have last year? And he hates it when I do it because it's zero. So, uh, you know, tonight you saw him. He was running pretty pretty good in the backfield and had some very uh, very good rushes. Um, really happy with CY. You know, we've moved him, on, moved him into the kind of the semi-hybrid role as the Viper and, uh, you know, really has – taken to it really well. Uh, you know, I think our corner, our first corners, C row doing, uh, you know, doing and playing pretty good. Even Malik has had some good moments. We're kind of looking at him at, at uh, nickel and uh, Isaiah doing a good job on the other side. So, um, you know, happy with that. We feel like we got three guys there and we're trying to develop the fourth. Uh, Safety-wise, JY's doing good. Jackson's doing good. Um, uh, again, trying to develop some depth there, and uh, feel like uh, it's going in the right direction. You know, uh, obviously uh, we'll get an influx here. You know, in the first week of June, and not just with high school players that are coming in, but a transfer group as well. And I think that'll, uh, you know, fortify us. Uh, both up front and at the linebacker core. What, what are your expectations for those two guys that are bringing in from the MAC? Well, uh, you know, we're evaluated those guys. Myself, I've been involved with both of them. Uh, Trey, you know, was the 2019 MAC Player of the Year. Uh, you know, he's a he's a talented guy, and he can play either one of the inside positions. Uh, Jerry Roberts is 237 pounds, so he can play Sam. I'm not sure he can't play Mike and Will too. He's a he's a really athletic guy, and uh, you know we're still working up front uh, to get ourselves well, one more uh, one more guy up front, which we're working on. I can't how really do, talk about it yet. How do you feel the pressure is going? Are, are they embracing it? And they're, they're oh yeah, I think they are. You know. Uh, it's very difficult because coach wants us to stay away from the quarterback. So then, you know, like in, in a situation like that, you're not going to get much reward, but that's okay. You know, we're, we're going through all the mechanics. We're just kind of whizzing by them. And, but, um, you know, we thoroughly, you know, and watch the tape and embrace the tape. But on the other side of that coin, um, if you end up, Hitting a quarterback on the elbow and he's gone for six weeks with a dislocated elbow, or you know three guys get knocked down and an old lineman or the quarterback has an ACL problem. I mean you've, you're you're creating so that's kind of the the dilemma of spring practice. And uh, just fluster them, fluster the quarterback to make to rush the throw. Yeah, that's that's part of it. You know, there's part of it. Now. Uh, our numbers have been really good in terms of getting around the quarterback, and I, I don't anticipate that to change. Um, I think our ones had a you know, very solid day. We had the one big play, we blew the tackle. And really, 
it, like I told him, if you took four, four missed tackles away, which is a culprit sometimes in the spring, and especially now when guys haven't, you didn't have spring a year ago, you know, you had some kind of a, I don't know what you call it, last fall. So, you know, that piece was still trying to catch up with. And, you know, we're not going to get that done until, you know, we're not going to be ready at that until September. I mean, that's just the reality of it. Uh, you've mentioned needing more depth at a number of positions. Is it kind of a long wish list in that regard? You well, know, I think we got, I think we got, um, I think we got some good players now, don't get me wrong, but just in terms of practice, you know, you see our fourth safety, he's got a red shirt on, he can't play the ball, so when the ball's thrown, he can't go play the ball. But at least he's practicing. So what would you rather have, him stand on the sideline or have him practice? And obviously, guys, you know, you know what the answer is. So, I mean, that's a tough deal. But in that, he's gaining valuable experience too, and we think he's a talented guy, Maze. Is, is, is there a number that you like to have that sort of represents your top group? I mean, and beyond the first 11, is it 22? Is it like 18? Like you know, well, I mean, counting our, with all the packages we run, I'd like to be around 17 or 18 active, uh, what I call, you know, first teamers and then you know you fill in from there now some of those guys that are active in the first group in in viper defense and regular defense they're involved in the second defense as well so i don't know maybe 25 26 something like that be a fair number you guys good have a good night take care